Helter's Pudding. Hello everyone, welcome to another video of the Lunar Diaries. Now I recently went to the Harry Potter Warner Bros studio tour in London for my fourth time. Um, I brought a few goodies this time which I'm going to show you. Um, I tried not to go too too mad when I went to the tour because I'm going to Disneyland in a couple of months and I'm trying to put quite a lot of spending money towards that. I have to be honest it was quite hard for me to hold back because there's so many amazing things in the Harry Potter shop. But I did hold back, but I still brought some goodies. Um, some of the things I don't have prices for anymore because I lost the receipt and I don't have the tag on them. But some of the things I do, and I will tell you the prices, so maybe you can get sort of an estimate of what the shop prices might be like for certain things. Um, but yes, I went to the Harry Potter tour last Sunday dressed as Harry, as I'm sure you'll see in the video previous to this, and if you haven't seen it, I will leave a link in the description box below, or maybe I'll leave it here. Um, but yeah, I had an amazing time, um, I spent it with my partner and two of my closest friends, and it was just a laugh, and there's so many things added on to the tour now that weren't there the other three times I've been, like the Hogwarts Express, that is that is mind blowing. Um, as soon as we walked out onto the platform, it just, it kind of felt like we wanted to cry. It was just, it was out of this world. Um, also, we went to the dark art section, which was also new, and they'd rebuilt sort of like Malfoy's Manor and the setup where they were all sitting around the table with like, Voldemort and Severus and Nagini's like going across the table and it's just it's really nice um, we also had a really nice experience with one of the members of staff I wish I'd got her name um, because she was just so lovely she was so pleased and so happy that we'd all dressed up because as you'll see in my previous video I did Harry my partner did Draco and my two close friends did Hermione and Ron so we sort of had the golden trio and Draco and they were so happy and so pleased. She went behind the um, sort of like sets and she brought something out for us that she had to hold with gloves and be so careful with. And it was the official Tom Riddle's diary that a small little Daniel Radcliffe in the Chamber of Secrets actually stabbed with a basilisk fang. And she showed me, it was covered in ink because there was ink cartridges at the back where he'd had, had to actually stab it with a, a, a fang on set, so. She couldn't let us touch it and she had to be really, really careful and have these special gloves and she said, we don't always bring these things out but I'm just so impressed by your costumes that I'm going to bring this out for you. So we were all just, we were a bit blown away by it really and I recorded a bit of it on camera and me and one of my friends had a picture with it and I did want to touch it but she said we weren't allowed to touch it but it was just so nice to have kind of something special shown to us. Um, because last time I went to the tour we um, bumped into Warwick Davis who was Davies who was walking down the Diagon Alley and I was in Luna at the time and he looked up at me and he went oh good evening there Miss Lovegood or something like that and it was just it was just so sweet and I don't know I just I don't know I, things like that just make me happy um yeah anyway I'm going off for one but I had an amazing time um but yeah, I'm going to show you some of the things I brought. Um, sorry if I don't know any of the prices or anything, but this is what my tickets came in. I don't know if my camera's going to behave and focus on things today, but as you can see, this one's now got the Hogwarts Express on it and on the back. And you open it up like so, and inside sit your little tickets to get in. And I like this, I'm going to keep it as a keepsake, really, really like this. Um, now one thing I never get when I go to the tour is a mug and this time I decided to get a mug and of course it had to be a Ravenclaw mug. Now this mug was £15.95, um, quite good value to be honest considering the mug. I have to be very very honest, some of the things at the Warner Bros Studios are very overpriced for what they are but then you find some little, little things that are just so good for their money and I was so pleased with this, to be honest I probably won't use it. It'll probably go for show in my glass cabinet, but this one was £15.95. I think I just said that. I'm losing my mind. But yeah, I'll show you this design if it will focus. Yeah, it's focused. 
thank you camera for being so kind to me <laughs> but yeah this is the design of course i got a raven claw one and i just think it's so lovely i will not be drinking out of it it's much too nice to drink out of but yeah i love this Secondly, um, as you all know, or you might not, I am a big, big, big lover of pygmy puffs. I think they're the cutest beasts in all of Harry Potter, bar thestrals, but they're cute in a gruesome kind of way. <laughs> um, so I already got this guy, who I called Pandora after Luna's mummy, when I last went to the tour, and this time they are doing purple ones. So I got myself a little purple one. Um, I don't have the price for this because it was so squishy I had to take the tag off and give it lots of cuddles straight away. <laughs> but yeah, I love this one. I actually quite prefer the purple one actually. There's something really nice about it. I haven't got a name yet so if you've got any suggestions let me know. Um, but yeah, I haven't got the tag as I said but it couldn't have been any more than a tenner. I think it might have been around £8. Also they've now brought out little keychain pygmy puffs which is so cute so I got the purple one to match. Um, and when I've got my car, I'm going to put this on my car keys and it'll be something I actually use. So yes, I've got two little pygmy puffs and they're so cute. These actually stay in my glass cabinet as well, like I'm just so scared of them getting damaged or one of my cats playing with them, that it has to go in the glass cabinet. So the, these two I'm really, really happy with and they can sit with my little pink one, Pandora. Right. Thirdly, I, um, even though I've been to the Harry Potter tour many times, I've drunk butter bit every time, loved it every time, but I've never ever bought the souvenir flask, cup, mug thing. Um, but me and my best friend, we thought, no, do you know what, we're going to buy this this time. Still smells a bit of cream soda, because that's what I think um, butter bit tastes like. I'm sure a lot of you will agree, it tastes a bit like cream soda and butterscotch and cream and all things good. Um, I'm a big, big lover of butterbeer, but I have to be honest, after I get about this way through, I'm starting to feel a bit sick because it's so sweet and so sugary. Um, I usually give it to my best friend to finish off, which I did this time actually, I think. But yeah, I can't remember how much this was exactly. I think Alex will know. It was between six or seven or eight pound. Um, you can get the normal casual cup, and I think that's like three or four pound. But yeah, we got the proper one this time which I'm hoping it will focus for me. Be kind, camera. Be kind to me. It doesn't want to, oh no, it's being kind to me. <laughs> but yeah, that's the flask. And I'm not sure if I'll use this unless I make my own butterbeer, which is something I would like to try and do on another video. But yeah, definitely, definitely love this. Glad I finally brought it. Um, something little I brought, which I know Luna is not a head girl in Harry Potter, but they brought out Harry Potter pins, which um, you can get in different colours, bearing in mind what house you are, and it can be head girl, head boy, what have you. Um, but this was 6 95 and I'm not sure if I'll use it for costume for my photo shoots or my videos, but it's just something I wanted to have. I'll be very surprised if this focuses because it's so small. Is it focused? I'm not too sure. Kind of, maybe. But yeah, I'm really glad I got this. It's just something I saw and I kind of thought, yeah, I'm buying that. So I really, really like this. Next, I bought one of these. My other half is a Slytherin and has one of these. And I always really wanted one of these for myself. Um, this was 9 95 which I do think is quite good for your money. I think this is kind of supposed to symbolise something they would wave at a Quidditch game, so you can be kind of like, go, go, Ravenclaw, go, go. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this, and me and my other half plan to get all the houses so we can eventually line them up on our wall in the hallway, and yeah, it's just your average Ravenclaw flag, and I really like it. Now, my main goal at the Harry Potter tour was to get a pillow. Now the pillows, I think, are the things that are the best quality for money. Now I got this pillow and it was 19.95 and basically 20 pound and I think it is such good value for money. It is my favorite thing that I brought and my best friend got a Hufflepuff one and I actually quite like them all. I would consider getting them all. Um, 
it's just such a good quality pillow but I will yet again probably not use it I'll put it for show somewhere because when you use things they wear and they tear and an accident could happen a spill and with most of my Harry Potter things I struggle to like leave them around because I'm just when you have pets or if you have children which I don't I'm sure you can understand <laughs> um but yes this is my favorite purchase from the harry potter tour i love it so much i love the tassels on the corners i'm obviously very ravenclaw proud so this just makes me very happy and it's just such good quality just such a good quality pillow i just love it so much and yet again my other half has the slytherin one so it's just kind of nice to have them both because we're very house proud people and we like to show that in our home so I'm very happy with this now I have one of these um, which I bought from a eBay seller who makes like Harry Potter props that are kind of like the school books and things like that and I brought a Luna Quibbler version from her but I brought this um, one that's kind of an official Harry Potter one from the tour because it just kind of seemed like something I should have. This was £5.95 and I do love it. Yet again, I won't be taking it out of its packet and it'll probably sit in my glass cabinet at the back, but I do like it. Um, it's basically the front cover of one of the magazines um, and it's got the Spectra Specs on the front. I have the Spectra Specs which I wear as a prop for my costume so this is something that I probably wouldn't use but wanted is something that is a must and I'm glad I got it and um, last but not least um, I every time I go to the tour I kind of like to get some form of candy because Harry Potter candy is the best and um, this time I didn't want to get a chocolate frog I didn't want to get 30 bots of beans because to be honest most of the flavors make me feel sick <laughs> they're fun but I've just had them so many times now that I can never get rid of that taste of vomit or earthworm out of my mouth so I actually wanted to buy something from the Weasleys range and I didn't even end up doing that but just as I was paying for my stuff this little thing caught my eye and it is a dark mark lollipop which kind of makes me laugh a little bit it's like yay team Voldemort have a lolly <laughs> join the dark side we have candy but this was 2 45 and I haven't had it yet because I was saving it for the video you can't really see the dark mark too clearly but I can it's like an aqua colour and I quite like it. I see what you're doing now Voldemort, gathering followers with candy. And lastly, um, I just wanted to show you my bag, which I love. I love the Harry Potter bags. They're all different and they all say different things on them. And mine says, Harry is the best hope we have, trust him, on one side. And the other is the Harry Potter, the making of Harry Potter. So yeah, I always keep the bags. And I think that's it. Yeah, I think we're good. Thank you very, very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed seeing what I got from the Harry Potter Warner Brothers studio tour. Um, I probably will be going again next year. I'm hoping to go to the new Christmas thing that they've now made official. I can't go this year um, because it's the day before I go to Disneyland and it's a lot of money. So me and my friends are going to be going next year. I know that's quite far off, but I'm sure I have lots of goodies to show. Then um, I'm also going to Florida next year and I'll be visiting Harry Potter World of course, possibly more than once. So I look forward to sharing that adventure with you on this channel when the time comes and also doing another haul from Harry Potter World. Um, one of my closest friends just got back from Florida and she basically told me I'm probably just going to cry throughout the whole experience. I've never actually been to America before and least of all Harry Potter world and I just need to get my butt there so fast and yeah it's just it's it feels like I need to go home now I need to have that experience I really really love the Harry Potter tour but I also feel like I need to go there as well I need to have that experience I need to ride these Harry Potter rides and eat lunch in the leaky cauldron it's just somewhere I have to be um, I'm putting my deposit down for that holiday in about three weeks time so that's really really exciting I'm going with my other half and my best friend and I will definitely be vlogging the entire trip from Disney World and things like that but I won't actually be putting it all on this channel um, I'll only be putting the Harry Potter stuff on this channel so you will see my adventures in Harry Potter World and I'll probably look absolutely horrendous with tears streaming and sweat all over me because in England we're used to the rain and the cold but yes um, yeah before I go on um, I also don't know if I've ever said anything like this before on my YouTube 
but I do have a Facebook page. I'm not too, too active on it, but every time I do a photo shoot in Luna, I will be posting more photos on there than anywhere else. So I will leave a link to the description of that in the box below. And I also am quite active on Instagram, especially with Harry Potter. It's kind of a Harry Potter based Instagram. So I'll leave a li uh, link to that as well. But yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Mischief Managed.